Welcome to Hard Hat Engineer. In this video, you'll learn about rupture disk. You will learn about the working types, material, use case, and the limitation of the rupture disk in pressurized systems, such as piping and equipment. Let's get started. What is a rupture disk? It is a non-reclosing pressure relief device used to protect equipment, vessels, and piping systems from overpressure or excessive vacuum conditions. Unlike a relief valve, it is sacrificial, which means that it cannot be reused. Here in the image, you can see the pre and post rupture. How does a rupture disc work? As its name suggests, a rupture disc is designed to rupture when the line pressure exceeds the system's safe operating pressure. It is a pre-bulged metal disc that is engineered to fail at a specified rated pressure. Each rupture disc has its pressure rating and temperature rating stamped on it to ensure the correct disc is used for each application. When the system pressure exceeds the design pressure, it pushes the disc outward until it fails under the pressure, as shown in the image. A vacuum support is provided upstream of the rupture disc in cases where the system pressure could drop below zero. Types and material of rupture disc. Rupture disc comes in three designs forward acting, reverse acting, and composite disc. Here in the first image, you can see the traditional disc. A forward acting rupture disc works by placing the convex dome shaped side of the disc facing the pressure source. As pressure increases, the disc material is stretched outward until it reaches its predetermined burst point. Once the pressure exceeds the disc's rated capacity, the disc ruptures along its weakest point allowing the excess pressure to be released safely. On the image, you can see the pattern on the disc. It will improve the disc busting profile. This design is typically more cost effective and is commonly used for applications where the risk of corrosion or high temperatures is not a major concern. Next image is the reverse acting type. A reverse acting rupture disc is designed with the concave inward facing side towards the pressure source. As pressure builds, the disc is pushed outward until it reaches its critical burst pressure. Reverse acting discs are known for their greater accuracy, durability, and resistance to fatigue compared to forward acting discs. A composite rupture disc is a type of rupture disc that consists of multiple layers of materials, usually two or more layers such as seal membrane, main disc, and backing ring. Each layer can be made from different materials based on the specific requirements of the process, such as temperature, chemical compatibility, or burst pressure accuracy. Common materials such as metals like stainless steel, nickel, incanel, or hastaloy are used for main discs, which combined with non-metallic materials like PTFE Teflon are used for sealing and corrosion resistance. Rupture discs are available in metallic and non-metallic materials. Metallic materials such as stainless steel Nickel, Inconel, Hastaloy, Monal are used for high strength and corrosion resistance requirements. Whereas non-metallic materials such as Teflon, PTFE and Graphite are used for highly corrosive but low to medium pressure services. Material selection depends on the specific operating conditions like pressure, temperature and chemical exposure. If you want to learn more about 18 types of valves and their subtypes, you can check my full course. It is extremely affordable with lifetime access and comes with a 30 days no question asked money back guarantee. So don't forget to check. The link is given in the description. Where rupture disc is used. Like any other pressure relief device, rupture discs are used to protect pressurized systems from overpressure or under pressure. Now you must be thinking why not a relief valve but a rupture disc. In systems that handle highly viscous, corrosive or problematic fluids, the internal components of relief valves may become damaged or clogged when in direct contact. Also, slurries, liquids containing solids, and toxic or freezing fluids can plug relief valves, leading to failure. In such cases, a rupture disc can be installed downstream to protect the relief valve. The disc's burst pressure is typically set to match or slightly lower than the relief valve's setting providing an additional layer of protection while ensuring reliable pressure relief. Installation of rupture disc. 
Most rupture discs are designed for installation in specialized holders that are set between flanges, which help ensure proper performance and sealing in the system. Certain types of disc can be placed directly in between the standard flange joint. Here, you can see the holder and direct installation setup. The holder has provisions to check whether the disc is compromised or not. Regular inspections are carried out to ensure the disc is in healthy condition. Advantages of Rupture Disc Rupture discs are generally more cost effective than relief valves and require little to no maintenance. They do not need calibration throughout their lifespan, providing a simple and reliable solution. When a rupture disc ruptures, it allows the full pipeline volume to be discharged, rapidly reducing the pressure. This quick response is a significant advantage over relief valves, which can restrict the flow. Rupture discs are particularly useful for vessels that experience rapid pressure increases, where a relief valve may not respond quickly enough to prevent a hazardous situation. Disadvantages of Rupture Disc Unlike relief valves, rupture discs are non-reclosing devices, meaning they must be replaced after their rupture. Once activated, the product continues to escape until the flow is stopped by other means. An open valve is typically installed upstream of the rupture disc to restrict or stop the flow after the excess pressure has been released, preventing unnecessary product loss. This is the end of the video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. If you have a video topic in mind, drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.